I'm Sarah Domek. I'm the Executive Director at the National Bighorn Sheep Center here in beautiful Dubois, Wyoming. And I'm going to take you on a little virtual tour along with my co-workers of the National Bighorn Sheep Center. So come on in. So you enter our exhibit hall, um, you're greeted by some great fans out here. And this is the gift shop that is a really important part of our um, annual operating expenses and so let's head on into the center. Hi, welcome to the National Bighorn Sheep Center. I'm Bernie Rose. The exhibit starts this way. Hi, I'm Karen Sullivan, the education manager here at the National Bighorn Sheep Center. When you enter the Bighorn Sheep Center, one of the first displays that you'll see is this Grand Slam display. These are the four kinds of wild sheep that are found in North America. Of course, the one that lives here is this handsome guy, this Rocky Mountain Bighorn Sheep. This is the one that's here and throughout the area. Um, and when you come in to visit, you can learn about all these other wild sheep that live in North America. And then as you walk around what we call Sheep Mountain, um, we were donated this replica of the world record Rocky Mountain Bighorn Sheep Skull by the Wyoming Wild Sheep Foundation. This animal was found on Wild Horse Island in Montana in either 2017 or 2018, and it weighs 48 pounds. It's pretty incredible. And here is one of our main exhibits. It's Sheep Mountain, and right behind me you see some lambs and ewes. It goes from the spring scene all the way through the winter scene. So here in the rest of our exhibits, we learn about the management, biology, ecology, of Rocky Mountain Bighorn Sheep and all the interactions they have with our culture and our community and um, other wildlife in the area. And we have many amazing taxidermy mounts of animals that live in this area, such as this grizzly and cubs. Um, so it's not just sheep that you'll see when you come in here. We have many other animals that coexist with the Bighorn Sheep throughout the West. Grand Slam. Right behind me and up above, you'll see four species from different continents around the world. This was donated to the center about 10 years ago from Barbara Carlsberg. It's the Carlsberg International Grand Slam, a really unique collection that we hope you'll come and see for yourself. And this area of the Bighorn Sheep Center is dedicated to the Sheep Eater Indians or the Mountain Shoshone Indians that lived in the area several hundred years ago. We have a diorama of a sheep trap. There are uh, remnants of many of these in this area. And then many items, uh, replicas of many items that sheep eater Indians would have made from bighorn sheep parts, such as winter boots and many items here that were made by our local artist, Tori Taylor. Um, my favorite is these little containers, one made out of a bladder and one made out of a stomach of a bighorn sheep and a horn bow made by Tom Lucas. The Sheep Eater Indians made these out of bighorn sheep horns and they were a very effective method um, of hunting. Here in our Ronsal Gallery, we have some great educational films like this one, Our High and Mighty, which was made just a couple years ago that highlights the Whiskey Mountain Bighorn Sheep Herd. We also have rotating exhibits and other hands-on items here in the Ronsal Gallery, a really great place to learn all about our local Another highlight that I want to mention of the entire Upper Wind River Valley area is the petroglyphs. And these are replicas that we have in our current exhibit hall that showcase some of the um, Dinwiddie era style petroglyphs of the Upper Wind River Valley. So as you head out, we'll lead you through the gift shop and Karen will show you some of her favorite items from our gift shop. Hard to pick only one or two, so I have a few. So my very favorite item is this book, Wildflowers of Wyoming. Um, this is done by a couple that lives in Lander, so not far from here, and it really does have all the wildflowers that you'll find around Dubois. A lot of the other books that I've found don't, so I highly recommend this. And it's the perfect time because the flowers are starting to bloom. Um, this is a brand new one by Sue Kosha, um, Every Critter Has a Tail. So this is a nice little kid's book. Um, I'm excited to get this for my little granddaughter. And 
then of course I'm a sucker for jewelry. So um, Jill Judd is a local artist. Her company is named Roca and we have a lot of her jewelry here and I own quite a bit of her jewelry and every time she brings in new stuff I seem to buy something else. So these are great gift shop items and it's really nice to be able to buy locally made things um, to give for various holidays. So thanks for visiting the Sheep Center. Hope to see you here in person one day. So we appreciate that you took the time to take this virtual tour with us. There's a lot more here that the center has to offer. So we look forward to welcoming you here. And alongside the actual exhibits and the gift shop, we also um, host special events and programs throughout the year. And we're looking forward to hosting you all um, this summer and beyond. So thanks for visiting the National Bighorn Sheep Center and we'll see you soon.